I'm sorry if I startled you. I hope you like the flowers. The flowers, they're exquisite. But you shouldn't have, Hank. I mean, they must have cost a fortune. Oh, well, they'll be worth every penny if I get a proper thank you. Hey, Luis. You're on your own tonight, buddy. I've got a date. Hey, I, I hope you have a good time. Well, you don't have to hope. We will. Yeah. Hey, well, you know, well, I'd love to stay and chat, but uh, <laughs> a stack of paperwork. In fact, <laughs> I have something in the car. Yeah, I saw your desk. It looks like a recycling center. Yeah, you know, I have to appear before the city council at their next fund meeting. Ask them to renew their commitment to the youth center. Which means they'll want to look at the books, so <laughs> got to be prepared, right? Will you go ahead and cook your books, amigo? We'll catch you later. Yeah, I'll see ya. You did know that the roses and the invitation were from me, didn't you? Or did you really want to go out with Luis tonight? Sheridan, who do you really want to go out with tonight? I'm so looking forward to going out with you tonight, Hank. We'll have a great time. Hey, Sheridan, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. Okay, I know you collect miniature horses, and I found these at a garage sale today, so... Oh, here you go. <laughs> you shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, hey, Louise. Hey, Beth. Hey. How's it going? Good. This is really sweet of you. I, I can't thank you enough. Oh, sure. Hi. Okay, Hank, I need those biceps you're always bragging about. What? Outside. I got some used sports equipment at the garage sale. I thought you could use it down here. Well, ask Luis for help. He's the lifter and hauler. Yeah, and Luis has stuff to do in the office, so stop goofing around and start flexing. You know, this is a great girl you got here. She's always looking out for you. <laughs> Let's go. I really had a great time with you last night. You did? Of course. Didn't you? I had a very good time. I'm glad. As a matter of fact, I, I thought that... <sighs> what? You, you, you thought what? was going to say was... Man, Beth hit the jackpot. You gotta see this baseball gear. It's almost brand new. Come on. Wow, it's fantastic. <laughs> I was getting ready to throw out all the old stuff. It's all worn out. Mike Piazza, eat your heart out, buddy. Wow. You really came through. But then again, you always do. You're always there when I need something. Thanks. You don't have to thank me, Louise. You know that. Now, I'm not going to tell you what I've got planned for tonight. Just dress casual. Casual? Yeah, something comfortable, you know? No tiara. <laughs> right. But I will promise you this. Tonight is going to be one special time. Something totally different. always been like that. What? Beth and Louise. They have so much in common, you know? I mean, they, they're so happy together. They, they could sweep and mop this floor and have a good time. Yeah, they, uh, they seem very close. Been like that since seventh grade. You know, I've always thought that they were meant to be together. Really? Yep. And all of our friends in Harmony expect them to settle down and do the white picket fence thing. And we're just waiting for Louise to realize it. Yes, I see. Oh, hey, um, it's a good thing I thought about it. If we're gonna do all the things that I planned for our date tonight, you need to ask Luis if, um, he'll let you cut out earlier or something. Okay, I'll ask him. Are you curious at all? 
I'm sorry. About what we're doing tonight. Oh, of course, but you won't tell me, will you? Nope. It's a surprise. Good. <laughs> that way I'll enjoy it even more. I'll go ask Luis if I can leave early. Okay. I'm gonna go make some phone calls. Okay. I wanted to talk to you, Luis. Yeah, sure. What's up? Our future. What do you see for you and me? You know, down the line. The future. I heard about your date with Sheridan. <laughs> okay. Come on, it, it was only one date. I know. But I also heard about the two of you dancing the tango at your mom's party and then the other day here at the center. Look, I've got nothing against Sheridan. She's a nice woman. I do like her. But I always thought it might be you and me. You know, that we could have a future together. I just like an honest answer, Luis. Am I being a fool waiting around for you? Am I just wasting my time while you try to build a future with Sheridan? I'd just really like to know.